time to do uh, 2020 Heritage uh, full case number two for uh, Ripsite uh, cards. So if you would uh, come in this direction, that would be lovely. Go ahead and get you a uh, team list. And like I said, I think that I will not be doing this uh, in a full pack stack, but doing it uh, box by box to try and not drive myself completely insane. These things, I don't know, maybe I'll save those all to like the end. One of twelve. What do we got? I guess not say yet. No, not a uh, action on Mad Rosario. Again, we will, uh, I mean, usually there's enough of these things, like for this AL, NL stuff, that we can uh, just give one to one team and one to another. If I do end up with a uh, numbered variant, then I will do a random for that at the end of this thing. But for the most part, it shouldn't be a problem, and... We will give stuff out uh, as evenly as possible. And like I said, Jesse went through uh, every uh, every card last night for the uh, for the break that we did to find all of the variations and whatnot. All those sweet, sweet high numbers and. Uh, 
that kind of stuff. Well, we'll find it. You're lying to me. I think you think you saw one. There'll be no stopping anymore. A uh, Rizzo two-color swatch for the Cubs. Give me an hour and a half. I mean, it's, it's how long it's going to take me. Maybe, maybe a little less. Hey, uh, Pirates Josh Bell to uh, 571. Robles Cup card. Soraka Cup card. Nick Anderson Cup card. All right, that's box one of twelve. Still 20% off any team that you may want to jump into. I mean, Pirates already paying off with some uh, Josh Bell chromey action. Who knows what we're going to find in these uh, box topper type, uh, type billy hose later on. Who knows?
Oh yeah, that would uh, would be helpful, Eric. But I'm not gonna call uh, Jesse in just for just for that. I am sure as crap not gonna drive in for him uh, tomorrow when he has to uh, break a bunch of this stuff. But that would be helpful. I should have one really on standby at all times. John Means was an all-star rookie. I did not know that. I knew Nick Anderson was, but not John Means. Since an Eloy, uh, how about a uh, Aaron Nado bat swatch for the Rockies? The uh, Kangaroo Phillies to uh, going to be good this year? I mean, better than he was last year? I'll be honest, like, kind of, like, almost, like, growing up with some of these guys, like, through Bowman drafts and whatnot, like, it almost makes me want to watch some baseball to see how they do. I mean, if they would cut the season down to, like, 50 games... I would probably watch a lot, a lot more of it. I mean, talk about making every start count. Three autographs in the last in, in yesterday's full case.
Hot box. Real Muto in purple. Rosario Twins in purple. Griel in purple. Sager Dodgers in purple. Matt Chapman in purple. Kingery in purple. Phillies. Longoria in purple for the Giants. DeJong in purple for the Cardinals. Grinky Cheat Strows. Cheat Strows. I'm going to find a good name for uh, for them. Whit Merrifield Royals. Trout Angels. Verlander Astros. Bueller Dodgers. And a Hoskins Phillies swatch. A weird light blue swatch. Santana Indians in purple. Suarez Reds. Hurrahurrahurrahurra Brewers. McNeil Mets. Contreras Cubs. And Athletics Rookie Crew. Reddick Astros. A uh, white batting leaders. Conforto Mets in purple. Yelich Brewers. Bias Cubs. Brantley Astros. And there's that box. Mentally, I feel like the box by box is keeping me uh, more sane because I would still be opening packs right now if uh, if I had gone <clears throat> with a full pack stack.
Did I skip the moose? Yes. Yes, I don't. Me and Abraham like are just in sync. Like I don't. I don't want to. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't often go to Abraham. I know Jesse does quite a bit, but I don't often go to Abraham. I think he is a hamster, or at least I have decided that he is a hamster. <clears throat> it's the first Pete Alonzo card I've seen. He was a, a gift from Kazu. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like but that was. I mean, that's five years ago. Four years ago. I mean, I guess really four years ago. <clears throat> that was hustling baseball cards around uh, Tokyo. Well, Matt, was your buyout thing something that you've been uh, like been planning for a while, or is that something that just kind of popped, like an opportunity popped up, and you were like, "I can't, uh, can't not take it." Okay, that's weird. I guess that was just flipped around for no particularly good reason. It's not variation. It's not an insert. It's not an autograph. And a Yelich swatch for the Brew Crew. For the Brew Hahas. Scumbag Ryan Braun for the uh, Brewers to uh, 571. Gotcha, Matt. Well, that's... I mean, sometimes sometimes you cannot be bothered to work with, uh, you know. Well, I mean, listen, I, I hope that you're happy with it in general.
Well, that's all I care about, Matt. That's all I care about, man. If it works out for you in the end, then, uh... Well, you got, uh, you've got to subscribe to us and then have, like, the, uh... Have the uh, notifications come up and we're, uh... You know what? I've had so many problems with breakers recently that the past the past couple of times that I've that I've streamed, I didn't even bother to stream on breakers. So that would be why you didn't see me on breakers. I will, I will get that fixed, uh, Mr. Giordano. I will get that fixed. Not tonight, but uh, since you already know now, but uh, in the future. Well, how are you doing, uh, Jersey G Man? Yeah, it looks like I think we got an autograph in this uh, in this particular box. How's your uh, Saturday treating you? Naughty, I'm not used to working on Saturdays. It's been uh, it's, it's been a while. Dude, we had there was three autographs. I, I, I did a recap, but there was three autographs. If you would like me to recap the uh, swatches that come out, then I will I will do that for this one. And I mean, it's only an hour and a half uh, of of your you know. Of your day to uh, watch the whole thing. It's you know just an hour and a half. Probably fifty minutes of ac of actual uh, card time. I will do. I will do. I will do all the uh, swatches this time. I'm sorry for not doing them uh, last time. I roll straight past one. Him, he's usually like an easy, an easy recognize. Thank you, Mr. Blackburn. Again, I mean, every single card will get checked. It is always better if they if, if I can find them now. Definitely better if I can find them now, but thank you for that. He is normally an easy one to see, too, which is which is weird. Yeah, I wanna I wanna ask Jesse how long it took him to go through the monster box last night. Oh, 
curiosity. Dude, the SPs, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, I, I'm, I'm never going to, the SPs, I'm not, I'm not going to find until it's, it's all, it's actually done. Well, I mean, again, I mean, this year, mercifully, they went through and did it so that you just have to see, like, like how the trail says action there, and that says nothing, that's, like that's all you gotta find. So they so nothing will be missed this year. I know there was years. A hey, Fernando Tatis Jr. Two color swatch, and I swear I thought I didn't see any of the, uh, any thick cards. Well, it's the nineteen seventy one tops uh, design, Dave. The 71 tops design. That's why they, that's why they call it heritage. They're uh, doing, uh, you know, throwback type things. You Matt Williams fan, Dave? Giants Matt Williams time? Or he he played with the uh played with the Rockies for a little bit, didn't he? That's see, that's my that's my squad. That's when I started liking baseball. The Matt Williams, Will Clark, the Diamondbacks. I knew it was a West Coast team. Thank you, Jersey G Man. But yeah, that that was that was my Giants. The Matt Williams, Will Clark, Kevin Mitchell, uh, Robbie Thompson, like Giants. They were my jam. Yeah, I still, I don't remember how I chose the Giants as my, as my team back, like, in those, in those days. Like, I don't. I don't know how I chose them. I just have like this. I have this memory of <clears throat> uh, Frosted Flakes had like some promotion when I was a kid. That if you sent in like ten box tops, they would send you tickets to like any major league game you wanted to go to. Like you know, any I mean, they any home game. And I'm, <clears throat> I probably ended up giving my dad diabetes by uh, making him and myself eat Frosted Flakes every day for like three months to get enough box tops to uh, get, a get a ticket to a Giants game that I was never going to go to. I still have the tickets. I was never going to go to it because it was in San Francisco. But I wanted the tickets so bad. I mean, I didn't like the uh, Frosted Flakes. I was a, a Fruity Pebbles guy, but uh, but we I got I got those tickets, and the Giants uh, won that game. I believe like three nothing. So my sacrifice actually uh, actually won the uh, won the Giants a game that year. Oh, 
white one for Nate Lowe. Yeah, I I love fruit. I still I still occasionally eat the uh, fruity pebbles. Not yet, bluegrass. Halfway through, no autographs as of yet. think there might be one in this one in this box somewhere I'm not seeing the I'm not seeing the fat white car but it's not even like that fat so that sometimes it's, it's hard it's, sometimes you miss it I'll try. I'll track it down and see. Didn't couldn't see it, but there it is. The Ryu Dodger swatch. It's a weird choice of, of actual action. But, uh, whatever. I know, I know. It's, I mean, it's still listed as an action. It is still listed as an action, but. And I see that to me, like, that looks like an action card. No action. Hence why we will be going through the backs of every single card that is here and uh, getting them all out and taken care of proper like. I mean, our autographs were nice yesterday. Yeah, uh, the 
Altuve, Alvarez, dual to 25, a Herner, and a, and a Jimenez. I mean, they were not, I mean, nice, uh, they were nice autos. All right, Eric, I will uh, check it when I am done with this. Well, you, you thank you for that, Mr. Blackman Farms. Thank you for that. That, uh, that makes <clears throat> makes my life infinitely easier. No autos yet, Jamie. We haven't had our, uh, you know, quote hit out of this box yet, but who knows. see any white cards so maybe an autograph
And maybe not. so I can uh, look at that later. In what way is it uh, being revamped, Dirty G-Man? Ah, uh, that could be too, because I was because I was just gonna do all of those like at the uh, at the end, all at once. So that is uh, possible. Yeah, it always was kind of a uh, seizure inducing. There was one year that like did they. They guarantee like a one on one in every uh, in every case or something. That stuff sold like crazy when they did that. I know they messed around with it either this either last year or the year before they changed like the number of number of hits per box and number of boxes per case but I can't remember exactly what it was now I can't can't not remember Oh no, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be expensive. <clears throat> it's gonna be hecka expensive. I can tell you I can tell you that right now. I mean dude, Dr G man, you saw what uh what NT basketball is pre selling for, right? Were you on here yet? Were you here yesterday when we were talking about that? Thirteen thousand dollars a case, and blowout is se is selling five case randoms of it for for like twenty two hundred twenty two hundred dollars a team. All right, a Trent Thornton Blue Jays in white. Good old Trent.
Nah, dude, he'll have more than he'll have more than five cases of that. Dodgers for our first autograph. Will Smith. Cup All-Star rookie card. There's no way that they're only giving Houdini five cases of NT. And it is, in fact, a good card. Will Smith, nice one. Seriously? Blowout is only giving Houdini five cases of NT. That is mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, you know what, though, I guess, I mean, if you if you can just sell it outright, if somebody's going to pay you 13000 bucks for a case of it, why bother to let your guy break it at, uh, at cost, you know, or not cost, at, you know, at, uh, at, at retail? I guess. I mean, yeah. I mean, listen. I, I'm not saying that. Like, I, I know you're an NT collector, and uh, you know you're gonna you're gonna you know it's gonna be. Cr I'm just I'm just talking about it in in general insanity terms. But I mean, at the same time, I mean, he's selling select at fifty four hundred dollars a case. So, you know, as I get I guess like dollars to dollars, like it doesn't. You know, if if he's getting fifty four for select, thirteen is not crazy for NT. If we even get any of it, we're going to have to... Buy, gl buy gloves and... Uh, fancy, fancy special top loaders for it. We might even have we might even have to do a, a spot just for the empty boxes in the uh, in, a, in a PYT to bring uh, bring other other teams down. I mean, I look random teams would be like four hundred and thirty bucks a team. I mean, even even three nine 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 full case random teams. 
How many people you think getting into that? I'm just going to, I'll take whatever, whatever we get and I'll just rip it and hope for the best. Hope, hope I hit something, something worth, uh, worth 13,000 bucks. Hey, a Thomas Brewers and White. Well, yeah, what is it? Eight. Eight autos or mems. I mean, it's usually like four and four or five and three. You know, but at the same time, like I was saying yesterday, I mean, you know, you you could be uh, you know, you could be walking and walking away with a Gail Goodrich. For you, for you, for you, faux hundy, or you could be walking away with nothing. We'll see. It's still like two months before that thing comes out, so. I may have, uh, I may have won the lottery by then and, uh, will be, you know, wiping my boot hole with, uh, with, you know, with, with Zion paper cards. Just because I can. What's up, Greg? I forgot though I actually have to buy tickets if I want to win the lottery forgot about that All right, an ALNL, uh, Alvarez and Aquino to a $9.99. Mercifully, a no random on that one. Justin Dunn, rookie autograph for the Mariners. For the Mariners. So we might still be on pace for our uh, three autograph type deal. Still got three boxes. We only need one more autograph. How would you know anything about that, Dirk? How would you know anything about that? And yes, he does. Must must be uh, off off season. Well, does does, M does MLB test for uh, marijuana?
Is it like the new uh, the new ML or the new uh, NFL agreement thing that they like that you if you test positive like you don't get suspended, you don't get uh, punished, but they still uh, still technically test for it to say that they test for it, kind of a situation. That's what I understood. Uh, it does, Mr. Black Farms. It does. Every time. Every single time. Well, you know, see, I mean, Dirk, I forget, though, that it's, I mean, it's legal in, in you know, a lot of places, just not Florida. It's medical, is like there's a dispensary right down the road from, uh, from the office. I drive by, I drive by almost every day, uh, headed home. But recreationally. No go in Florida. Blaine, I am not familiar with uh, the Justin Dunn myself, but I mean, if if he is good enough to make it to make it into a rookie year in the MLB, then uh, he's got to be he's got to be uh, something of quality. So congratulations. Since it's on top, I will uh, yank out the Ahmed Rosario for the Mets. Well, listen, I, that I am glad to hear. Then I don't, I personally do not have anything against the Mariners, which is a little bit weird because I generally have I have something against every baseball or every sports team that is not one of my own. I don't have anything against the Mariners. I would even even consider myself a uh, low key Mariner fan. Yeah, Eric, there's a whole... You know what? Before I even forget to do that... Let me change the hitless uh, number. But, I mean, again, like, I mean, once once either myself or Jesse goes through this, like, there's going to be... I mean, there's going to be a, a bunch of cards headed, headed your way. Probably, you know, short print or, you know, short... The, the high numbered short prints and you know various other things so I mean and, and I mean and really heritage is about the short prints more so than it is about the autographs and stuff so it it, it, it looks bad now no it pops up to 350 look I mean it doesn't look great now but I think in general, like it's gonna be, uh, you, you'll you'll feel happy about it when you open the package and be like, oh well, I got I got all of that. Okay, that's not bad. 
That's not bad at all. A uh, Correa to uh, 999 for the cheaters. Petros. I don't know. I will. I will sometimes refer them to, at, refer to them as the Astros. Other times, the Cheat Stros. Sometimes just the uh, Cheaterville Baseball Squad. Well, you know, we'll we'll mix it up. Bubba Starling has actually made it, has actually made it to the big game. Eric? I thought Bubba just lived in AAA purgatory for his entire, for his entire life. Greg, that's that's what I want to know the numbers on. Like, I want to know like what the league average is like for hit batters on a team, and then I want to know like what the high like what the team with the highest number of hit batters had for like the last five years, and then I want to know what the Astros are going to be at this year. I expect there's going to be a couple of uh, a couple of brawls. I think Altuve especially is probably going to get uh, probably going to get chunked a, a, cu a couple six, six seven f 14 times. for the last two boxes to do the uh, weird f flipped around deal. Well, 
Well, you know, I mean, MLB may it's it's you know Manfred may at some point decide that uh, that the Astros shouldn't be playing away games just because of the hostility, and uh, and just you know allow them to play you know 162 home games. You know, because poor Astros. I see a, I see a, a, a fanciful uh, shiny card for Dakota Hudson to 571. D-Huts, as, as I refer to him, you know, when, we, when we play that church league uh, softball, I'm like, D-Huts. You know, let, let, let's win this thing. And he says, all right, Jason. Mike Trout. Game you swatch card for the Angels. Congratulations, Mike Trout. box and then we'll do the uh, toppers and various other fun things I think at least one of these toppers is going to be autographed because there was one box that had no hit in it. The only thing is I think it was one of the like old school cards which might make it less interesting if it is in fact autographed, but we're going to we're going to find out.
Is it possible that teams would bring in special pitchers, special relief pitchers, to do nothing but throw at people or throw at the Astros? Like you don't want to necessarily like have your, you know, starter suspended or your closer suspended. Like, do you designate some guy that like you don't really like think you're going to need that much to come in and plunk people, take the suspension? You know, they you know team pays a fine, whatever. You know, down on the low low. I might consider doing that. Hire Ricky Vaughn, you know. Demote him, like, you know, call him up before the, before the series with the Astros and then demote him, you know, right after the series. I haven't even talked to you about my my wife's best or one of her best friends is from or her family like she has a bunch of well, she has a whole bunch of family in Houston and like they're all Astros fans. I have yet to uh, talk to her about what she thinks uh, about the whole situation. Albies Braves Swatchery action uh, I guess I guess all rookie cards are action variations technically Senzel to $9.99 for the Reds. No, I, I, I will bring this one up for just a second here. This Tony Walters, uh, he's, got, uh, he's got quite the stash working there. He does not need to be playing catcher. <clears throat> I 
I mean, it's not as good as Minshew. Let's be real. It's not. It's not anywhere near as good as Minshew. But I mean, it is. You know, kind of, kind of worth it. All right, let's uh, separate these out a little bit. All right, let's do the uh, super baseballs first. Hey, two of them. Yelich and uh, Jimenez. I don't think that's probably a, a, a mistake, but uh, we'll take it. Somebody, uh, somebody is somebody opened one up and didn't get anything. Only one this time for Fernando Tatis Jr. He looked a little bit high too. Alright, greatest moments for Aquino. Fastest three homer game for the Reds. Right now, two bluegrass. I think one of these toppers might be autographed because there was one box that didn't have a hit. A uh, Vlad. A most fantastic uh, lefty for Kershaw. Uh, Arenado, 300 total bases. And a scoreless, a scoreless streak for Tom Seaver. Alright, now... We've got a, a, chunk, a Chuck Hinton. Hinton. For the Indians. A uh, Jim McAndrew for the Mets. Dick Hall for the Orioles. And a Dave Gusty for the Pirates. And a uh, Paul Shaw for the Royals. So no autograph toppers. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, we ten, eleven. Yeah, we te technically shorted a hit. Technically shorted a hit. We had the uh, Justin Dunn for the Mariners and the uh, Will Smith for the Dodgers. But that that would only take us to eleven. With the uh, Albies, Trout, Rosario, Ryu, Tatis, Yelich, Hoskins, Arenado, and Rizzo. All right, everybody. I will get this right out to you.